All right, let's move on to our next topic. Um, why? Why the LG wing? <laughs> you guys. I called this. I was dude. so, I was so, okay. I called it. I even put my thumb on the scales a little bit because I mentioned the Fairphone in the video. Don't even Which I really want to review. Yeah, don't you like flash the Fairphone in some video recently Well, or I think that might have been the problem. It was. So it, it's not that I've switched People over it to it. over it. I'm still on the Note 9, but the Fairphone 5 was winning the voting for the new phone that I'm supposed to switch to and review. And I was I was secretly pretty okay with that because I really I really want to try it. I think it's a really interesting device. Um, I I haven't seen a phone. It was it was like going back in time. I I put my finger under the little fingernail thing and I popped the plastic back off my phone and hey. there was the battery and I was like yeah. what? Nice. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's a cool moment. Um, and so the Fairphone was. Far and away leading the pack, like way, way ahead of everything else, because uh, I, I actually mentioned it in the video where I was saying, oh, yeah, you know, something like the Fairphone might be kind of cool, you know, wink, wink, nut, 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 nut. Um, and then Reddit, being Reddit, <laughs> went completely the opposite direction with this, and ever since I showed the Fairphone in the uh, Google whatever they called their 2023 event coverage that we did, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, LG Wing has gone gangbusters and I think is actually leading the pack now. What is the fascination with the LG Wing? Uh, it's because they think it'll be horrible. That can't be the only reason. Is, uh, I think it is. There's no way. Come on, guys. It's some justification for this. I might have something that can get you out of it. Um, Me too. Okay, hold on here. Let's see if we can find. Oh, uh oh. Oh, I wonder what Dan's uh, is. I wonder if it's the same as mine. Let's just go here. Let's see, let's see where the voting is sitting right now. Oh no. <laughs> see, I don't expect this to win, but I want more attention on the great form. Fa if it was great, it might have sold a few. Okay, so ev if everyone watching, hold on a second. Hold on a second. If everyone watching Wan show, okay, I don't have permission to view my own <laughs> channel. Um, see, this is what happens when you put Dan in charge. It was your decision! <laughs> it was probably Luke. Uh, uh, maybe. I don't even know what you guys are complaining about, but yeah, I did it. I blame Luke. Yep. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm, wow, I'm not even, I'm, I, I can't, I can't. It's discontinued? Yeah, but he can get one. Okay, well, I can't see it. Anyway, the point is, the point is. You got a Hot Wheels PC. Okay, the, the point is. Um, if everyone watching the show right now goes right now and votes and for votes the Fairphone 5, <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> okay. If everyone goes and votes for the Fairphone 5, we can win this. And then we can get a review of a legitimately interesting, more sustainable phone. They offer long-term software support, replacement hardware availability, all this cool stuff. I gotta admit, it's a bit of a brick. But I think we can I think we can do this. I think we can get a useful video about a real product that actually matters. Okay. So let's see. Are you guys doing it? You're not doing it. What is that what is the point of me even saying anything? Okay. No, they're not doing it. I Dan, what is your way to get him out of this? Yeah, Dan, I'm... I want to hear yours first, because I'm wondering if it's the same as mine. Let me... Today? Let me... Let me, let me okay. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I want to type mine out, just to see. I, I mean, I highly doubt this, but... Okay. Okay. Uh, today, the donor phone for his other phone arrived. Oh! This was... Yeah, we're not aligned. So I don't no. have to upgrade at all? No. I can just keep using my note... Yeah, you uh, my you hired me, three. so I can just keep your phone alive forever with organs from younger phones. <laughs> <laughs> like billionaires. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does it have to drink their blood? No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> if it's a billionaire. Um, okay, my, my argument... My <laughs> it doesn't drink pool water, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> my, my argument is uh, current gen operating system. Android 14 just dropped? It just got Android 13 like a couple months ago. Yeah, but it will not get Android 14 and Android 14 just dropped. We specifically said as long as it supports up to like Android 12 or something like well, that. Well, 11 is the best. 
Well, yeah. I did tell you you're going to get trolled. Yeah, but I thought it would be I thought it would be trolled like using iPhone. LG fucking wing? They literally they found the gold. They found the most hilarious thing. It's the most hilarious thing, which is why it's getting the most votes. It it actually like, I don't know. If if the goal is the funniest option, they definitely found it. The Fairphone is the most interesting this option. This is the phony McPhone face of responses. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, the Fairphone is the most interesting option. The wing is the funniest option. This is so dumb. I have a I have another question for you. What? What phone do I get? What phone do you get? I I I committed many years ago. That as long as Luke followed me oh, no, on no, this no, wild journey, this. he would yeah. always have he would always no, 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 have no, no, no. a good PC. I didn't PC. mean it in that way. I'm not giving way. you a phone. I I, that was that never way. the deal. I wasn't asking for a free phone. I was asking what phone should I like buy. Yeah, yeah he's backpedaling now. No, no, no. I was I, classic, classic Luke. What phone am I getting? Oh well, I'm not God. giving you a phone. No, no, I wasn't asking for a phone. You know what? Now I want a phone. Fine, here. <laughs> I don't want that one. <laughs> it's better than yours. At least it doesn't interfere with the mic. <laughs> It, it probably is better than mine. Um, no, but okay, so I was waiting you know, for the... Oh, you know what's really funny? Hold on, I'm totally no, gonna, I'm totally gonna interrupt you here. It's fine. You are, I think, the third person to see my video saying, I don't know what phone to buy. No. Who has seen that and asked me, what phone should I buy? Dude, I talked about this on Wayne Show months ago. I was going to wait for the, the Pixel 8 announcement and then potentially buy it. I literally lined this up oh, okay. months ago. Okay, well, multiple people like that I know personally have, have seen my video, just come across it because it got fed to them algorithmically. And we're like, your videos pop up sometimes, is blah, blah. The algorithms are cre- creepy. I, I saw the title, you need a new phone. Hey, I didn't actually watch the video. Maybe they read the comments. But I'm hey. in the same boat. I was rocking my iPhone 7 caseless, but juggled it while I had a baby in the baby carrier, and it smashed. Curious if you have any recommendations. I'm just like, the, vi- the video title was, I don't know what phone to get. And then you're like immediately, hey, Linus, what phone should I get? In all seriousness, though, I did have a good recommendation for them because I do actually know like what phone they should buy. If they've been using an iPhone since the iPhone 7, they should just get a new iPhone. Because clearly they're happy with the experience and a new iPhone is just going to be that, but like more better, which is probably all they need. That sounds about right. Most people don't want to tinker with their phone. They just want to make phone calls and text people and install whatever mandatory app for whatever stupid IoT thing they bought. Like that's, that's pretty much it for almost everyone I know who is not a technophile in my life. That's all they care about. Okay. I'm like navigation. Um, Okay. I'm going to let you finish now. Uh, yeah, no, T-Swift. Like, <laughs> like months ago, you, you like asked me when I was going to get a new phone because my yeah. phone is doing interference and it's partially smashed and all this kind of stuff. And I said, I was waiting for the, the Pixel 8 announcement and then the Pixel 8 was announced. I but get the Pixel 8 Pro. I feel like I'm like kind of sketched with Google, like pretty aggressively. And I'm not just saying that because you said in your video, I'm saying that because of domains and podcasts both being killed in the last little bit. Yeah. Clearly they don't care at all. So I, I think the commit level for Android is extremely high. I actually Android, have a, yes. I have another video. But what about Pixel? Um, I think that Pixel and Android... You think there's always like going to be a now. pixel? I don't. I think always is a really strong word, especially for a company like Google. <laughs> but I don't think that pixel is going away anytime soon, especially because the pixel has already kind of gone through its period of extremely high losses for Google. And it made it out of it. As far as I can tell, people that I know, again, back to the non technophiles in my life, they're honestly a far more useful barometer than talking to people like you. It's like, if I, if I talk to you about like, oh, what are the coolest phones right now? You, you're going to, you're going to tell me, you know, some enthusiast shit that you read about on Reddit or something like that. Like that's, that's not useful to me. I want to talk to my aunt and my uncle and my, my siblings, uh, people who don't follow this stuff. Like what is actually penetrating outside of the tech bubble into, into these other spheres. Right. And pixel is showing up now. I'm hearing about pixels from 
other parents of kids at the, my kid's school, right? Like, so I, it seems like I still don't see a ton of them out in the wild, but it seems like it's shifting a little bit. It's shifting. It's, I, and I think that that momentum is going to carry on, especially now that Google is saying that they are doing what I've been saying someone on the Android side needs to do, long-term. which is commit yeah. to long-term software support yeah. for these bloody things. It's also, um, it's also great timing because the hardware has finally reached a point where I think it is actually conceivable that you might still want to be using that phone in seven years. Seven years. But remember, Google's vertically integrated. Seven years is a long time, but they're also committing to make sure it stays usable. And that hardware, it looks like they didn't talk about it much. Google committing, though, is like... I know. I know, I know. This is the whole problem. That's the whole problem. But, but, but sometimes Google does stuff and then is just like, oh, sorry, forget it. I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore. Sometimes they take that approach. But then other times they really have shown incredible tenacity and long-term thinking. I actually, I, I was planning to make a video about this and I think we'll do it because it's not really about anything specific. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, I okay, no, I thought of something specific we can make it about. There's like premium Chromebooks or something coming out or something like that. And so we'll we'll kind of we'll kind of tie it into that. But but really what the video is going to be about is that Microsoft and Apple have lost an entire generation of computer users. Yeah. And I don't know if they even realize it yet. Yeah, no, okay. I I you said you're doing a video on this? Yes. Good, because it's actually a very interesting conversation. One of the smartest things that Apple ever did oh, was yeah. get Macs into the classrooms. The educational discount, equipping every school I could think of with a computer lab full of Macs was genius. Absolute genius. Because when you're at the store and the options are this thing I am familiar with and know how to if use. If you're a parent and don't really care that much. Or this thing that I have no idea how it works. Which one are you going to pick? But not not even, so. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, as an adult. Yeah, like no, when no, you but, grow up. But I think even before then. Oh, for the parents, like, yeah. It's it's whatever the kids come home and like, especially. I you use gotta this remember, thing at school. I need one for home. You got to remember, this is in the context of the 90s, right? The, the 90s, early 2000s, when not every household had... Just trying to think. Did everyone I know have a computer in like 2001? Most did. Probably not all yet, though. A, a lot. Yeah, it was... A it was lot, lot did. Late 90s, though. Not everyone had a computer. Most not no. even. Yeah. Not even a little bit. That was a very that was a very man, looking back really at it, that was a jump. fast transition, especially given Dude, how expensive they were. Best Buy was popping back then. That's crazy. I used to go to Best Buy to like hang out. Um I'm not so, even kidding. So anyway, so so back to back back to this Nerd. whole thing. So back then, yeah, the kid just telling the parents, yeah, this is the one that like we have at school. When the parents don't know how to use either of them yet and don't use either of them yet, unless they're using a computer for work, they would, that could dictate their preference, right? And so now, now we're seeing that with Chromebooks. My kids have to have a Chromebook for school. If they didn't have Windows machines at home for gaming, they would have more hours logged in Chrome OS than they would have in Mac OS and Windows combined. And, oh, this is happening. This is such a slow boil. It's happening so slowly and so quietly that I feel like a lot of people aren't noticing this. Chromebooks can have Steam now. And they just like can have x86 processors or like, you know, they... And I didn't they, know that. And they can have... and Yeah, oh no, that's been for a long time. Long I didn't time. know that. And, and, now, and now, like, better, more premium ones are coming out that might actually have decent onboard graphics. You can play some Sea of Stars. You know, play some, some older games, some pixel art style Is it just games. Proton? Play some Overcooked. Um, no, no, I don't think so. Is it Proton? I'm actually not sure. There's definitely native games, but you might need Proton. Does it use Proton? Steam on... Did my dad just come in here? I had a computer in 1983. Well, yeah, we know. We know, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Have I told you the, the Alter story? Yes, it is Proton. Yeah, yeah, so they're using Proton. And then, hold on, we'll get to that. It's okay. We'll get to that. And then... 
And then the thing is, Proton is getting so much better quietly, quietly in the background. Oh, it's just Steam Deck. It's just Steam Deck. Is the year of the Linux desktop going to be f***ing Chrome OS? <laughs> <laughs> uh, depending on how this whole Windows 12 subscription thing goes, maybe. Like what? Yeah, maybe. So, 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 sorry. To, back to my back to my point about Google having extremely an extremely long game approach. Sometimes, I think that Pixel is their long game answer to Apple not just completely owning the North American smartphone market. Okay, I have a... I think they need it. I have an offer, a question, and a story. Okay, let's go with the story, because I think it's about your dad and okay. his computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when my dad was uh, up at the altar getting married to my mom, he leans in uh, and tells her, uh, I bought a computer this morning. <laughs> I would have waited until after. Yeah, I think it was... I think, I might have gotten some part of that wrong, but it's assen it's essentially that. Amazing story. Clearly, I wasn't alive for it, but great story, and I believe it 100%. Um, super sick. We always had computers around. Um, for, I, for my birthday one year, I got a definitely legit uh, CD. I'm pretty sure it was actually a CD with just a whole bunch of games, names of games written on it. You put it in, you could load any of them up. It was awesome. It was sick. That was like, that was huge at that time. All yeah. true. Yeah, apparently I nailed it. Let's go. Um, okay, which one next? I don't remember what the other thing. I'll take the offer. The offer. Oh. It's probably going to be a bad offer. It is. Yeah. You're stuck no. with the wing. Okay. I what? can take the Fairphone. Or the Note 9. No, I don't think... <laughs> Tell you what, let's let Reddit decide which of Linus's phones. There's the broken Fold 3. Not for long. The working. Hey, I'll take that one. The yeah, working it's pretty Note good. 9. I'll take that one. He'll it's going to be it. great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but this is Dan telling you that. Yeah, no, I, I would trust him. He's good at fixing stuff, legitimately. Yeah, but he doesn't even know if it's fixable yet. Yeah, uh, you could literally a end he'll up with find a, a way. broken phone. He'll find a way. Well, the Didn't... side screen on the new one works. The so. Note 9 at least works. <laughs> It's like more smashed up than my phone is. Um, okay, uh, then the then the question. Fine, I guess. What's your question. Uh, why the pro? Uh, oh, I because um, it's like it's a lot more. It's three hundred dollars more U.S. So it's like four hundred Canadian dollars more. And from what I could tell, it's not that huge of a jump. So RAM. the camera is a lot better. And it's better in ways that I think with advancements in computational photography over the next seven years, which is a long time, um, that I think it will provide a much better platform for taking better pictures for longer. That is my theory. I don't actually have anything to back that up, but I think having those better sensors in the, in the ultra wide and in the telephoto are going to be um, significant. I know you don't take a ton of pictures, and I know it's not the most important aspect of a phone's performance for you. I do you. take pictures, though. And it is pretty cool whenever you're in a moment when, like, there's a group of people taking pictures, and they're like, all right, who has, like, the best camera? And you can be like... Yo. Um, me. It also has a bigger screen, which you have large hands. What is your excuse for using a smaller screen? Like, why would you, like, I have to. <laughs> Like, just use a bigger phone. This, like, what are you, is dumb? It, is it, like, I, Are you angry about this? No, not you know, even a little bit. Small, get a, just small just phones, get a f***ing Pixel small 8 Pro. <laughs> small phone syndrome. <laughs> small phones aren't allowed to, uh, yeah. big hands. Um, well, no, they're, I'm just... They're for me! <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying that... You can't, you can't take them. <laughs> if you can comfortably use them, then, like, I, I can't see a reason not to have more screen real estate, you know, remoting into systems or whatever else. It's just, it's just really nice to have. Uh, also, your eyes suck. <laughs> They're pretty okay up close. Yeah. I just, I just, I, you know what? Just I, trying to throw shots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Yeah. So other, other reasons is that it's not just photos anymore. So now all of a sudden with that, with that new HDR enhancement and night sight for video again, Ooh. I think that I didn't notice the that was better a camera platform you're going to have 
the better potential for processing um, there's going to be in the long term. This is purely speculative, though. I, I, have, I have no way to back this up. The four gigs of RAM is fairly intriguing to me in, in regarding long term. You know what I mean? Because we, we, we've watched this steady march always. Yeah. Things either become, uh, you know, coded in a way where you know the developer just didn't literally care in the slightest um, or just actually very inefficient or just actually bigger programs that need more RAM, even if they are coded very well, etc. Yep. But the, the march of things that eat more RAM is just constant. Yep. Um, so, and I don't know. And you are the kind of person, like, you, gotta, you always got to think about when someone asks for a recommendation, who are they? You know, who is this person, right? And so you're the kind of person that when I think about that, I go, oh, no, he actually conceivably could use this thing for seven years. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. But then you've been burned on pixels. Every time you've bought them, you've been unhappy yes. with them. For a while, not forever. I was, I was really, really early on in the Nexus train. Loved it. Loved the really yeah. early pixels. It's the last two pixels that I've had that have both had a lot of problems. I've heard from other people that have had the same pixel as me. I think Conrad, I don't remember, that they had a great time. So I don't know that this is universal, but I ha I had, I've always had tons of issues. My phone since the day I've had it, the whole time I've had it, has had this issue where the, uh, the drag down tray at the top, at the top, sorry, yeah. will just randomly shoot down. Okay. So I'm like trying to do something on my phone. It's just like, Bleh! I'm like, that's ah, really annoying. Or like literally while I'm typing things, like you call up something and they're like, enter your whatever. And you go to type it in. It'll just turn the screen off. Nice. And I turn it back on and then I'm moving my finger to press the next button. I'll turn the screen off again. It's like, oh my God. Oh, the, oh like, that the, happens like, near, a lot on my the note. The near sensor yeah, thing. Yeah, the proximity yeah. sensor yeah, at the top. Yeah, it's in a really inconvenient spot on this phone too. So you'll go to... And it stops. It's oh no, mine will, mine will like, I'll have my phone just on the table next to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm no, there's nothing on top of it, there's nothing there. And it'll just be like whipping the, the top tray up and down rapidly. And it'll like turn the screen off randomly when I didn't actually manually do Sick. it. Like it just, it's just terrible. People are saying RMA, yeah, good luck. Yeah. They, they will tell you that they won't fix it. Because they're just I like, wish, uh -huh. I wish that I could recommend to you, you know, the 2023 edition of the Note 9. Going back to this phone, there's definitely things about it that are, that are dated. It's pretty, it's pretty slow by modern standards. Uh, but like, <laughs> compared to the... F okay, here, hold on, hold on. I've actually got it with me. You have spirits around you? Yeah, I don't know. This, my, my last Pixel I had some problems with. I think it was like call reception or something. I don't remember what it was. Compared to the Fairphone in the hand. Wow, what the heck? Just, uh, this, you know, it feels, it feels downright modern. And the Fairphone feels downright... The Fairphone definitely does not feel modern at all. Downright brick-like. Um, I don't mind it too much, but it is, it is, a, it is a thick boy. It's definitely, it's definitely chubby. No, um, no jack? What? No, no headphone jack. Even Fairphone doesn't have a headphone jack anymore. I mean, it's thick enough. You'd think they'd just do it. <laughs> I'm not even like trying Luke, to... Luke's review. <laughs> um, like, this thing, if I could just get this, but more modern -er and more better, I, I would absolutely take it. Integrated stylus. Okay, you got the headphone jack, micro SD. Um, I don't think, oh yeah, it's dual SIM or SIM plus micro SD. Uh, you know what I have found That's myself cool. using That's a really lot cool. is the iris scanner. I, I, I didn't even think about it all the years I was using it and I didn't really miss it with the fold because, you know, the, the location of the fingerprint sensor it's was very good. convenient anyway and yeah. whatever. But there have been times ever since I switched back to it that I'm like, oh, my hands are wet. Oh, it doesn't matter. Boop. And I'm, and I'm into it again. Um, I, man, I just, it doesn't have a stupid gaping bullet exit wound hole in its display for no reason. It had like, I, I still think this might be the phone that had the skinniest top bar, but that contains everything and that you just have a perfectly square display with no holes or, or notches or anything like that. I just, ah, it doesn't exist. So, oh, well. 
Uh, wait, we're supposed here's, to do a couple... Here's the next... Hold on. Here's the next question. I have one more thing. Oh, okay. Now, what bundle do you get? Bundle? Because if well, I you go... The, I thought the Pro comes with the Pixel Buds. Or the Pixel Watch 2. Oh, well... Ugh. And here's a weird caveat. Yeah. Pretty much both of them I'm just going to be reselling. Because oh. I, like, can't do wearables because I'm going to just lose them immediately. Okay. That's well, been I a mean, thing forever. And then the earbuds, I have that like ear thing, so I can only wear the ones that like hook in my ears. I can't yeah. wear the, and those are the insert ones. Get the watch sure. and try it, then flip it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would do that. All right. Because, yeah, I mean, maybe the watch will actually be good. Maybe. This time. Maybe. Yeah, apparently they fixed the battery life issues, so you should be getting like 24 hours. So There are some things, uh, heart rate tracking, stuff like that, I think, I've been thinking for a long time. Yeah. I should probably get a watch for, um, but I haven't wanted to get an Apple watch because, <laughs> well, my experience of having, having uh, AirPods and needing to use those with my Android phone, I'm like, yeah, I, I haven't asked oh, anyone. But you can't use an Apple watch with, uh, with an Android phone. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, so if you want to know why I was wearing one for so long. It's just like a protest I was just for the meme. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I, I was literally just using an Apple watch as a watch. It did absolutely nothing else other than tell the time. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I was, it, was, it was my silent protest uh, about the state of Android wearables is that I would rather wear an Apple Watch that does nothing but tell the time than wear an Android wearable. <laughs> 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 have, you, have, you, do we, I, uh, have you been able to use the watch yet? Which one? The Pixel Watch 2? Yeah. I didn't even know we had it yet. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't touched. Okay. I, I haven't touched the Pixel Eight or Pixel Eight Pro yet. Okay, here's the next color. I'm just gonna just go you're through just the whole. You're just gonna keep asking questions. Yeah, you the know, whole, the entire shop. You're experience. going to have. You're going to have to actually send a merch I'm, message if I'm you want to ask me another question. <laughs> Archive. What what color? <laughs> oh, I don't care. Just put a D brand skin on it. Oh. What does it matter? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of stupid question. It is that? looks like the screen's broken on this one. That's a really weird photo for them to Linus. use. Let's go. Doesn't that look like broken screen? <laughs> yeah, it does actually look like kind of a broken screen. How did they choose that? That one also almost yeah, looks like broken. Floatplane Chad's asking what financing should he get. Yeah. Well, go go to Dell. Apparently, apparently, it's a good question. Dell Financial Services is not in Canada anymore, which is why they didn't offer us financing. Oh. Not because they just are, you know aren't pushy about it necessarily. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh well, man, I'm so excited for the next part of Secret Shopper, guys. We look at all the systems. We see if there's any shipping damage. Spoiler alert: there is. Ooh. Yeah. So man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a freaking roller coaster. And then I think next week we're gonna be shooting the next part where we look at. Um, Guys, tech support help me find that's more shot questions already to ask. that's shot already uh shay was in here for i think one day doing the ordering let's just say it wasn't one day oh to get all the tech support stuff done so Ooh. yeah there's there's definitely going to be some interesting stuff i don't know anything about it yet but i do know that it took a long time 